Hello everybody, welcome to episode 20, uh, not 20, 32 of Let's Play Dragon Quest. Last time, we finished up Pachisi, and now we no longer ever need any more Pachisi track tickets. Seriously, all these Pachisi track tickets, 37 of them, are all going to go to waste now, because literally there's no other reason to use them. We have all the items. Anyways, what we need to do is, now, is travel south to the southern end of the continent. I have a cat in my leg, so if I'm a little, uh, like, uh, slow on the stop the thing, but also, uh, yeah, because I have a cat. But anyways, down here! Also, I just want to check out what does, uh, okay, uh, that's what the Sword of Kings looks like. Gretchen the Staff, what looks like that? Now. Crystal. And there's, that's what, okay, that's what the, the Sword of Thor looks like. Oh, no. Die. And now let's use step guard. <sighs> I just had a swallow a joke there. <laughs> Anyways, uh And we step into the cave. Hey, we recognize this cave! This is where you fought the green dragon! Anyways, go west to find two men. I must Keep digging! We're digging a tunnel. There's five. There's crazy four of them. Oh yeah. It's not completed yet, though. Again, because this game, I'm just gonna say it is a pre- like, get, like I, I already said it before, it's a prequel. It's Dragon Quest 3, but anyways. Keep heading south. That's a, It's a bit of a maze, but there is a bit of stuff we can find here. Oh, I found a, uh, I messed up and missed something. Okay, go back up. And the wall in between them. Okay, table. What? Anyways, search this torch, and you'll find a Jesus ticket. Alright, now go back east and head to the southern end of the cave to find two men. Okay, it's head cell. This will be, well, more metals. I want to reach Remoldar quickly. Eve ho! Anyways, and here is the uh, the ninety fifth small metal. Oh yeah. Ugh. The guy just said something that was like kind of creepy. <laughs> Anyways, what we want to do is we want to use a one to bring the wire. I went. I went. I went. I went, I went, I went, I went, I went I cannot speak. Anyways, head in here. And we are going back. And it's only been a little bit. We are already heading back inside of this freaking... Of the metal place. And this brings the total to 95. You found 95 medals? Please accept this sacred bikini. You collected 95 medals so far. Once you found 100, I'll award you the gold pass. Now, the sacred bikini is actually a good armor. It's... <laughs> This will super boost Cynthia's armor to high. And now she'll be accurate for how she's depicted in her game sprite. Oh, it actually changes her game sprite. Okay. Yeah, I actually just noticed that. Her game sprite changed. Look. I re equipped the blade armor. Yeah, her sprite changes. <laughs> That's interesting. Nice job, Square Enix. Not Square Enix, just Enix at this point. Nice job, Enix. <laughs> Freaking. <sighs> Good thing they were able to make that 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 sprite with only one hand. Anyways, okay, now we need to go back aboard our ship and sail to the tower that we found west of this place. Kill the bird kings and these. Slash 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 slash. And we go up to this tower. And this, this tower! Anyways, we'll go up the Rubus Tower. This is the Rubus Tower, as I've just said. Go north and into the castle. Now, cast Step Guard. Because, yeah, as you can see, this will hurt a lot. And you'll be able to split going east, north, and, and well, wet west. Go north, and you'll find two chests. One is a mimic, and the other one contains gold. Let's check. And the gold. 
I got the gold chest. All right. Magic wyverns! Arrgh! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Okay. All right. Now, back here. Go east. And go through the this north door to speak to this old man. You have the fairy flute, then you should go to the fifth floor of the tower and use it. All right. Go back west. And, what's that? So, okay. Leona. It implies that... I hate these freaking magic wyverns. Ow! You're not even wyverns. You're more akin to vultures. Because wyverns are more akin to dragons than actually... But you're more vulture. Okay. It's dead. Alright, what's south? Nothing! Alright. Head eat. Head back here to the west split. And, uh... Ah. It's recommended we grind again, but we are way past the... Ah, no we aren't. Okay, little herbs were... Anyways. Ooh! Okay, go west. And on this area, metal babble spawn. So, we want to grind here for a bit. Be right back. And level up solar and for Christo. Which, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's nothing really. Anyway, be right back. And Arusa leveled up to level 40. That's a bunch of HP, holy freaking crap, and MP, and Cynthia leveled up as well. Nice. You get her level 40, so this is good. Alright, be right back again. And Gretchen leveled up, level 36. Which will be uh, for MP and Blaze Most. Blaze Most is, the, is uh, I think, the strongest version of Blaze, basically doing, uh, well, high damage. Okay, use a couple heal walls. Anyways, uh, I'll say the exact damage in a bit. You just give me a sec. Uh, that's the table of contents, that's the spells. Okay, there we are. Now I'll tell you. Blaze most, or or uh, Kafriz, is the most powerful spell in the Blaze class. It will do 180 damage. Nice. Anyways, like basically like a, a warrior uh, hit. Anyway, we're back again. And Crystal reached level 40, which is an HP increase and nothing else. Okay, we're back. And Arusa reached level 41, which is an HP increase and lightning. Lightning and Cynthia leveled up. That's some, all levels we need. And I'll tell you what lightning does in a in a bit. Lightning or Kazap is the stre stronger zap spell. Causes a trend doing 200 damage. Basically being and affects all enemies, being the strongest spell for the hero. And also Cynthia leveled up again and increase getting no HP. But anyways, let's heal up a bit. Let's heal us a couple times. And Let's look at our party. Boom! Much stronger. Also, we've actually stats the 200s, I just realized. Well, ooh, Gretchen's a freaking powerhouse. Holy crap. Anyways, now from here. Uh, oh. You should probably go to coal and rest up. Be right back. By the way, off screen, Gretchen leveled up from a metal slime that we encountered on the way there. Alright, level 37. And. Bee Dragon. Bee Dragon is an interesting spell. Basically, from what I can see, you literally turn into a dragon. Basically, or puff. You basically turn into a dragon and use fire breath constantly. Every round. By the way, we are so close to the end of the game, it's not even kidding. Uh, it's not even, like, funny, but... But yeah. Anyways, go back west. Uh... Anyways, let's also use uh, Heal Us twice. There we are. That be enough to, for us to be good at HP. Anyways, now from here, we want to go back west to the split and go west. And through the southern door... Kill the Onus. Let me talk to this guy. Reading it through, reading through, you'll be able to make it across the movie floor. Only a true hero can make it across, though. Anyways, now go back to the red door, and then go south to this opening. And take the stairs going up.
Something old, oh, true hero strike for. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm nearly dead. We're all nearly dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, 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 just, just use a couple heal us's. It's three. Use those ma that amount, just be careful. Anyways, now in here. Alright, go north one screen. Then east to be in the middle of the floor. Uh oh, 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 what the heck? Okay, I see. Okay. Middle of the floor of the room. There are some white crystals on the floor, but they mess your controller when you step on them. Alright. Ah, frick. I see, when you step on them, it swaps your controller buttons. By that direction. Alright. 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 There we are. Anyways. You don't you don't even have to use it against them, you just use a tile, but hey, that's a mimic. That is gold. A small metal. Yo. And yeah. And a and uh, and a strength ring. And from here we'll just go down, down, left, left. Okay, okay, down, down, left, left. Oh, oh, oh. there we are. Open a chest. We find a life nut. Use that right away. On Russo. And that's two HP. Still, still a bit. Of love, but and uh, a benevolent ring, a life nut, another one. Use that again. Five, nice. Anyways, give these the bag. And open this for the flame ring. Kill these. Your magic means nothing to me! <sighs> Actually pressed up without pressing- I just pressed space bar. Okay. Instead of the other button I wanted. Ow. Alright. Here we are. Head up these stairs. We took a ton of damage from the floors. Anyways. Now go south to- to stairs going up to the next floor. Ignore them and go west. And north into the center room. Search the tile northeast next to the lower pile of skulls. And to find a Pachisi ticket. And exit the room, go west to the end. And head to find some magic weapons. I will smack to death with my sword. And stabs. And up here, we will find ourselves. A small metal. This will be small metal 97. Very close to the end. Go back south and east and take up the stairs we ignored. Almost there. So close to the end. Oh my gosh, guys. Alright. Now on this floor, go north. And west, and carefully go through the crystal tile maze. Alright. And open this chest for the last bit of armor that Zoma stole. The armor of light. So now we have an armor, a helmet. So. We now have a helmet with a horn, an iconic horned helmet. A what is it? A she, an iconic shield. An icon, but technically an icon. Uh, an iconic sword. An iconic well armor. I think you know what this game is hinting at at this point. I mean, and also this game is a prequel and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, by the fall in the hole. Uh. Okay. 
But I, again, I won't reveal it until they do. So. Also, let's check out how tanky we are. Okay. Kill those. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I'll fall down the opening to the north. Go south through the store, and head west, and up the stairs. Go east, the crystal tiles. Alright. And head the stairs. Go up these stairs. Head west and up these and, he and head up these the stairs. And this floor goes south, east. Go south, east, then north. Find a bunch of Leo Leonas. We will kill with our weapons. Because violence is always the answer. I'm joking, don't take that seriously. Heal us all. And go into the door. And you'll find a statue. And let's use the fairy flute that we that we got to wake her up. Because remember, she was turned they mentioned that she was turned to stone, and the fairy flute was the only thing to wake her up, so use it. And mode seven. With the power of mode seven, we break her free of her of her, of her uh, stony shell. Ah, it's a dream come true. You saved me. I am Rubus, the creator of a left guard of a left guard. To show you my tech gratitude, I give you the sacred talisman. Please use that item to def to reach and defeat Zoma. I'll be eternally grateful when peace is restored to our lands. And she disappears. And we got the icon. Let's equip it. Increase our luck. Holy crap. Uh, what does the hero ring do? Exactly. Increase our attack. Let's equip it. Alright. Uh, well, yeah, we, we, we should use this talisman. It's kind of the point. Anyways, now we need to, well, grind again. That's not going to take too long. We just need to grind level 41. But, we are back. And we've leveled Cristo to level 41. A huge increase in MP. And we'll heal up a bit more. And, uh... We're almost there to leveling up again, so be right back. And Arusu leveled up to level 42. HP, strength, agility, okay. And final level up for Cynthia, 41. Alright, now, and Gretchen leveled up a well, what? Okay, 38 I guess. And Gretchen learned, holy freaking crap! <laughs> we also got Explode At! Explode At being the strongest spell in the game, uh, that a certain monster, alright, uh, well, demon, tried to spam against us. It does 140 points of damage to every enemy in battle. Uh, but yeah. That's the end of the spells, I think. I close spells down because, yeah. Hmm. Nah. Anyways, I'm gonna go and rest with coal, and then we're gonna end the part, I think. Because I have to leave soon. Now. Oops. I'm glad I got I had this opportunity to play this game with you guys for you guys, by the way. The first time ever playing Dragon Quest 3, too. I'm glad I played it this way. It's a good game. As much as it's very grindy and a lot of other stuff, but still, pretty enjoyable. But next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest 3, we will continue onward and finish. Well, go to the next area. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.